Well, hey gang, we're back with the continuing saga of the multi-lock um, padlock. Um, after rave reviews of the video yesterday, um, it was suggested that it would be valuable to gut this lock completely, which I had decided not to do yesterday um, based on certain peculiarities of the design of this thing. Um, but due to popular demand and the fact that um, it's impossible to put it back together without a key or doing some kind of uh, shimming type of deal on it um, because of the way that the shackle goes back in here, um, I figured I might as well do it. So what the hell, why not? So we'll proceed to take that part out. It's a little cover. Um, sorry, Kokomo, you cannot bypass this lock, at least not from the, uh, not from the keyway. Um, so we'll take all that bit out. And then this part, which I did put some lubricant on yesterday, pops out the front. You can see all the lubricant. All right. Now, what we have here is the plug. That's the front, that's the back. The Bible, which is its own little piece of uh, metal, and all of the pins contained therein. And what I'm going to attempt to do, I hope, is um, lift the Bible off of this and keep the uh, the drivers in some semblance of order, and then lay it down. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to call that one, two, three, four, five drivers. So we have a normal on this end. We have a normal on this end. Another normal and two spools. And this is the type with the, looks like with the integral center pin. I don't know if they're, if they're pressed together or or what, but it doesn't come out. So it's spring-loaded. Whoops. It's spring-loaded inside here. There's a little spring inside that drives that center bit. Okay. And then our key pin, there's our Bible with the springs. And it's just single springs because the inner spring is uh, contained within the driver itself. And then our center pins. Oops, well, there's, <laughs> there's an actual center pin. Um, let me get a pick. Okay, there's pin one. I think I better drop on two. There's two, three, four. I wanted to go flying. Okay, so we have, appears to be four normal key pins with their little center pins, which are spooled very slightly, which I think is mostly just to keep them from falling out. It goes like that. I don't, I don't know if that functions as a spool or not, but there's your coaxial that. And one of these is mushroom. This one back. Of course it's right in the back. And then there's our plug, which which is not counter melded in any way. Does have an anti-drill pin in the rear. But not in uh yeah and something in the front. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But it's got some protection on there. Um, you may notice that the plug is a little bit um, sort of serrated or whatever. Let's get let's zoom in a little bit. The plug has some bits milled out of it. This is not normal for the multi-locks I've seen. I think the idea of this is to reduce the friction since it's running inside of this steel 
body. Um, and, uh, you know, brass is self-lubricating, but steel is not. So it's probably to reduce the amount of friction that's going on inside there. Um, I'm not really sure what keeps this in, other than maybe it's own spring tension. There don't seem to be any detents or, or uh, catches or anything. But anyway, so there's the, there's the Bible. And that index is on this part here, so it lines up correctly. And that's it. Now I'm going to figure out how to put it back together. Um, so the issue is that to put the shackle in, you have to have the, um, you have to have the locking mechanism retracted, and then you put the, sh then you, um, put the, so you have to put the body together like this. You have to retract the locking me mechanism and then shove this part down in here and then put the set screw back in and the, and the cross pin. Well, the problem is that if you've got this thing picked or open or anything like that, when you go to put this back together, you end up kind of dropping it, right? And once it's locked up again, you can't get the bolt back in. So I had this in a bag and a few pieces um, with the, without the shackle in. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out some kind of clever way to, to uh, put this back together. If you've got any ideas, let me know. But there you go. There's your multi-lock, five pin, pin and pin, uh, high security lock, uh, gutted for your lock amusement. All right, this is Alex, thanks for watching. Have fun, please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And as always, please keep it legal. Cheers. And just to show you, I did actually get it all back together. Got the shackle installed, got the core in there, all the pins, springs, everything. Took a lot of uh, trouble. Um, but I did eventually get it, and I've got this piece of uh, drill rod in here, um, which is holding the bolt open or keeping the locking mechanism open so that I can take it apart again, maybe to have it keyed, for example, um, without having to um, pick it again, because I'm sick of picking that lock. Um, so anyway, um, there we go. Multi-lock restored after gutting. This is Alex. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Please keep it legal. Cheers.